what's going on guys um, today uh, we're going to be doing some uh, I wouldn't really call it weathering I'd call it splashing a little mud around making something look dirty um, and creating a base to kind of pull off the look that we're going for uh, we're going to be I've been working on this build for a while um, this is the new Bronco kit um, that just came out um, well, it's been out for a while now, but uh, it's kind of my version of it. I've done a lift on it. Um, uh, took the uh, tires out of the Jeep Rubicon and put them on it. Um, everything else is pretty much box stock. I did the engine right out of the, or not box stock, but right out of the box. Um, the engine, uh, I've kind of added a few little details to. Did some washing, stuff like that in it. I don't know how much you'll be able to get out of this video um, as far as um, what I've actually done to it and stuff like that. But uh, we're going to be doing, um, creating some weathering, some mud effects on it, stuff like that. Also, um, I guess we're going to be creating a base. Um, you know, I'll go over it first here. Some of the things you may need. Um, you may need something to, to make your base on. Now I've got this picture frame, and it's just a five by seven, um, but it's perfect for for what I'm going after. I'll be able to put, I'll be able to set it in there, and you'll be able to still see the effects that I'm looking around the outside of it here and stuff like that. So it'll be a perfect size, I think, for for what I'm going for. Um, and then whatever you want, I'm going to be putting a plaster in here. Um, this plaster right here I get from Walmart um, four pounds and I think it's right around four bucks a dollar a pound and uh, I've, I've used this stuff before with a few other bases that I've made and it seems to work real well um, but there is some issues with the directions as it tells you to do uh, when mixing it and I will go over those with you also it, to me um, it's not really a big deal but to me um, it wants you to add so much water and I think that that is too much water for it um, so I usually cut back on the water a little bit um, and that's pretty much um, what I'll be using I'll also be using some caulk or silicone um, just to seal up around the edges of the frame so nothing can go through and make a big mess on my bench area here uh, when I'm doing this and stuff like that um, first thing I want to do though is this thing here causes it to set unlevel um, so I'll go ahead and just try to break that off just like that and I may not even use that piece I'm not 100% sure yet um, you can go ahead and open this up this unless you want a picture of somebody else you can throw that in the garbage I don't know it's not really my thing to keep pictures around the house of people I don't know you never know different folks different strokes now I'll take the glass out um, because what I'm going to do is be careful not to break it because what I'm going to do is inside of here where this glass sits I'm going to put some super glue in there and super glue the frame the glass down in that I ain't too worried about getting it all over the place, but I do want enough in there to glue stuff down. So I do put quite a bit. And then you can just lay your glass in. Just like so. Um, then you can put whatever you've got to add some weight um, you could put on it to make sure that it that it does glue down good um, I'm just going to put this on it. 
and we'll let that sit for a minute. Alright, so it's been sitting here for a few minutes. Um, you can see it's, it's starting to typically do what super glue does. It, it hazes and fogs. Just okay, because you're never going to see this once we're done with it. So I'm going to bend my tabs down. You just want them touching the glass. You don't want to put a whole lot of pressure and break break the glass. And flip it over and make sure it's sitting good and level. Level enough, I should say. Um, and that's when we're going to bring in our caulking. So we want to seal this up in here as best we can. And you're just going to run it just like you would if you were caulking something. It's a lot easier if you've got a full tube, but this one's about empty, so I need to uh, figure out a way and I can fold it to keep pressure on it. It ain't got to be real pretty. It ain't got to be real pretty because it's all going to be hidden anyway. It's not like your bathtub or something where you see it every day. Then I'll just bring a little bit up on these edges here. Just like that. I'm not, like I say, I'm not worried about making a mess. So once I'm finished, you'll never even know it's there or I even did that. Let's make sure it's smoothed out and, you know, all you're trying to do is seal up those cracks because when you put this plaster in there, it will run through them and make a big mess. It's happened before. Um, but yeah, that's, we'll let that set for a few minutes um, and let it kind of harden up. Um, actually, it's going to be a while before we get back to it because after this, we're going to start um, weathering or mudding or whatever you want to call it to our vehicle um, and then we'll come back to this 
later once we're done. So, let's see. Um, we have the paint boots running, so it might be a little loud for y'all. Um, I did do a video before where the paint boots were running, and it seemed to be fine uh, with the noise in the background of the, of the boot. Um, so we're going to try it again. Now, as you can see, uh, I've already started a little bit. I took an, um, I took some um, some rattle cans and I kind of just fogged it with some different earth tone colors. Um, but we're going for a little bit more of a drastic look than that, so we will be coming in with more and doing some other things to it here now. Um, what I want to do is I want to put some tape under the hood here. So it will hold the hood on while we're going through so that way um, when everything is said and done I'll be able to put the hood on and all the um, effects will line up and still, it'll still look nice. Let's keep that on because we are going to be turning this thing upside down and sideways and stuff like that. And we do want to make sure that when we do, that the hood ain't going to come off like that. <laughs> We're going to have to do a little more to it here. Try it again. Alright, so I think we're good now. It didn't come off at least. Let's see. But um, I'll give you a look around it here. That's some of the effects we've already got going on on it. I did tape off where the windshield wipers would go. Somewhere along the way. Lost the oh. I have to find that. I did tape off where the windshield wipers go. Um so that uh fill that off it'll be clean like the windshield wipers were running there. I need to get my airbrush set up and everything and I'll come back and show you what we're going to do now.